We know plastic harms people, animals, and our environment, but it also poses a more hidden threat. Plastic contributes to climate change, and it may compromise our ability to keep global temperature rise under 1.5 degrees Celsius. Cheap natural gas from fracking in the United States is driving a plastic production boom. By 2030, emissions from every stage of the plastic life cycle will release as much carbon as 295 coal plants every year. Plastic begins as a fossil fuel, whose extraction is energy intensive. Drilling requires fuel and releases methane into the atmosphere. Trucks to transport those fossil fuels burn fuel themselves and pipelines clear land and leak methane. At massive industrial facilities called cracker plants, Oil and gas undergo one of the most energy-intensive industrial processes to start their transformation into plastic. In 2015, global emissions from this process were as much as 45 million cars. 40% of that plastic is manufactured into single-use packaging, which is used once and thrown away. The end of plastic's usable life marks the start of most of its lifespan. Only 9% of plastic has ever been recycled, the best climate option when managing plastic waste. As recycling centers are overloaded worldwide, industry is looking to incineration to manage plastic waste. Of all waste management options, this is the worst for the climate. Even plastic lying inert on our beaches and in landfills release greenhouse gases as it breaks down over the centuries. And new evidence suggests that plastic may be jeopardizing our ocean's life-sustaining ability to trap carbon from the atmosphere. The plastic industry plans to invest over $200 billion in plastic production by 2025. On this path, by 2050, plastic will emit up to 13% of our entire remaining carbon budget, or all the carbon we can emit before global temperature rise surpasses 1.5 degrees. To protect our climate, it's time to break free from plastic. <laughs>